Okay, I'd like everyone to bow your head and let us pray. Father, we just want to praise and thank you, God, for this afternoon. Um, thank you, God, for the opportunity to learn once again through this webinar. Lord, we pray that you just bless our speaker, Lord God, our resource speaker, as she shares her knowledge of court on her field of expertise. And Lord, I pray for every participant that um, each one will really be able to maximize, Lord, to get the, the most out of this webinar, oh Lord God, and all of us will really be attentive, Lord God. And we thank you, God, for this time because we have knowledge and it is you orchestrated everything. We praise you and we thank you, God. And we even declare our God's smooth flow of today's webinar. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Mom Jonah Lynn. And once again, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. And welcome to our webinar this afternoon. So today's webinar is Department of Labor and Employment's 10 Dimensions of Family Welfare Program. Okay, so to acknowledge our participants for today and mga companies ba ang nandito sa atin ngayon. So we have Buildes, we have also Enbank, we have RD Pawn Shop, of course RD Corporation. What else? We have RDMI, we have also Jensen Shipyard Company. So kindly type the name of your company para ma-acknowledge po natin lahat. So I'll be your moderator for today's webinar. So my name is Irvin, and once again, welcome. And before we get started, I would like to remind everyone that during the webinar, you'll have the opportunity to submit text questions by typing your questions in our chat box. May send your questions at any time during the presentation. And we will collect these questions and address during the Q&A and at the end of the, today's presentation. And also, before you leave today's webinar, you will receive a uh, survey link and we would appreciate if you would complete uh, the survey and provide your feedback. This will serve as your attendance and our basis of issuing certificate. Again, today's webinar is Department of Labor and Employment's 10 Dimensions of Family Welfare Program. And these 10 dimensions also serve as a guide in implementing the program. And to mention, these are reproductive health and responsible parenthood, education, gender equality, spirituality or value formation, income generation, livelihood, cooperative, medical health care, nutrition, environment protection, hygiene and sanitation, sports and leisure, and housing, and then we have transportation. To introduce our speaker for today's webinar, she is a graduate of Mindanao State University. She finished Bachelor of Arts in Agri-Business Management. She also finished her Master of Public Administration, major in Organization and Management in Mindanao State University. She handled programs in DOLE, like Family Welfare Program, Job Start Philippines, Career Advocacy Program, Special Program for Employment of Students, Single Entry Approach, Labor Market Information, Public Employment Service Office Focal Person, labor relations, and also labor inspection. And currently, she is the Senior Labor and Employment Officer of Department of Labor and Employment Region 12, General Santos City Office. All right, everyone, help me welcome our resource speaker for today's webinar, Ms. Sheila Marie Dumalay. Ms. Sheila, good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon to everyone. Hello. Hello, Ma'am Estel, si Ferdindo, sino pa na? Hello, everyone. I hope that you're doing good. Kamusta kayo sa pandemyang ito? Guys, grace, okay na siya. Yes, oo, ganun po talaga. Dapat i-embrace natin yung motto natin, better life ahead. Ma'am Sheng, you can share your presentation. So again, uh, we are going to discuss about the Dole Family Welfare Program. 
actually ano to, di- 10 dimensions of the family welfare program. So, ang mga other workers and the uh, management natin sa all over uh, Mindanao nag-meet last September of 2019. And when they met here, they were able to uh, ano bang tawag doon? In-empower nila ang family welfare committees ng ating establishments no, and companies. I, I don't know if anybody from the RD group of companies were able to join the family welfare program but it was a big success kasi uh, the family welfare committee summit is actually on the hold na siya dito sa general center city sa KCC Ayan. so without further ado what is the family welfare program okay so family welfare program refers to the dole program that provides no family welfare as described under DO56. Ano po ba si family welfare program? So family welfare program is a program that helps cater to the human relations of our workers and the management pero tripartite kasi with the help of the Department of Labor and Employment. So, ang composition niyan is that we have our representatives from the labor, management, and the plant clinic if there is, and of course, the government. Okay, so, we provide family welfare services, which is the core of the family welfare program. What is the family welfare uh, services? As mentioned kanina, no, ni Sir Irvin, it's actually the uh, 10 dimensions no yung family welfare program na education responsible parenthood okay. it is anchored on department order 5603 okay ano ang nakapaloob sa DO 56-03 ang sabi niya uh, this is an enabling issue once so wherein the target clientele is Establishments habitually employing more than 200 workers, mandatory po siya. And for those that are employing less than 200 workers, voluntary po siya. Okay. So this is our list no, of family uh, 10 dimensions. Una, responsible parenthood. Resp- uh, reproductive health, responsible parenthood. Education, gender equality. Hello, ma'am. Na mute po yata kayo. Ayan. Okay na po ba? Hello? Yes. Yes, yes malinig na siya. Yes. All right. Uh-huh. Okay, so income generation, livelihood and cooperative, medical health care, nutrition, environment protection, hygiene and sanitation, sports and leisure, housing, and the last would be transportation. I'm sure ito, ginagawa nyo na ito. Hindi nyo lang alam siguro na this composes the family welfare program. And if in case na meron na kayo nito, baka wala lang kayong family welfare committees. Tama po ba? Ang iba siguro sa atin meron, no? but they are not enrolled in our family welfare committee uh, organization sa General Santa City. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, ang pinakaunang nag, uh, napasama sa FWC or Family Welfare Committees of General Santos is the RD Corporation. Siya po ang uh, member po siya sa ating ano. Uh, and also, Ardex Fishing is also a member. Ardex is also a member. Okay? Alright, so... Okay, hindi siya For our next... Uh, there. Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health. Okay. Ano ba ito? Sinasabi ng ating responsible parenthood and reproductive health that this is provision of free plan, uh, family planning services to employees and their spouses. 
Uh, it also provides advocacy activities, information sessions on reproductive health and responsible parenthood, availability of planned clinic staff, kung meron pong doctor or nurse. Okay. When it comes to responsible parenthood and reproductive health, yung advocacies po natin, there would be uh, sessions no, on paano po natin inaayos no, ang ating inaayos ang ating uh, reproduct responsible parenthood and reproductive mm -hmm. health. Uh, minsan may mga ano, just like this, webinars, no? and uh, nung una, nagpa-face-to-face -to -face interaction pa tayo, uh, availability of plant clinic staff, meron din po tayong safety health advocates dito. Si Sir Irvin siguro, at niya na ito. No? Uh, what are the activities ba? No? Uh, ang iba po sa atin, pwedeng magbigay ng information sessions on incentive bonus schemes to encourage family planning among others. No? Uh, kasama po namin si FPOP when it comes to responsible parenthood. Itong uh, dimension one. Si FPOP is the family planning. No? Of, meron dito sa General Santa City. And a few years back, we were able to provide... Uh, establishments that are members of the FWC with uh, pills, condoms, and uh, IEC materials. So, dun po nakapaloob ang ating responsible parenthood. Hindi lang naman po kasi, uh, hindi lang po kasi yung trabaho, uh, tawag nito, mental health awareness, of course, those are very important. But of course, kailangan din po natin yung responsible parenthood. So, uh, the companies are encouraged to actually enjoy yung mga ano na ito, mga activities na ito na libre lang naman po siya when we partner with our FPOP. Sometimes, may isa po kaming barangay na nag-help din po. They were able to give uh, birth pills, no, contraceptives to our uh, companies. Okay, another is uh, Capability building activities for labor and management leaders, no? members of the family welfare committees. So, ang ginagawa dito, uh, ano lang, seminars, learning sessions. And ang pinaka-importante when it comes to dimension one, the responsible parenthood and reproductive health, is the breastfeeding facilities or the lactation station. Because... Uh, as mentioned kanina ni Sir Irvin, uh, may inspection program sa si Department of Labor and Employment. Pag malaki po yung inyong company, if your company is big, you are actually mandated or required to provide a lactation station. So, I am sure ang iba sa inyo may mga lactation stations. Kung wala pong lactation stations, pwede po sa clinic. Most of the, the, the subsidiaries in the companies with RD Group, may ano naman, ano, clinics? Tama po ba? Yes, Hello? that's correct. No. Yeah, alright. Okay, so there. So it guarantees universal access to methods of contraception, fertility control, sexual education, and maternal care. Uh, it is, yung, together with the RH law kasi, it's implemented by the DOH, no? in coordination also with local government uniques. So, tulad ng sinasabi ko kanina, may mga barangays tayo na nag-donate po, nag-sponsor po ng ating mga contraceptives, uh, birth control, pills, ano pa yan, yung condom nga, and IEC materials. Okay. Number two, dimension number two tackles about education or gender equality. Okay. This is an advocacy on gender issues and gender equality. Observance of Women's Month, Day, Celebration, meron tayong Women's Month and Women's Day, no? Education on Women-Related Laws and Policies. And this actually means no, uh, participation in po ng company. 
when it comes to leave or soccer pregnancy leave, violence against women and their children, and then the Magna Carta of women, early childhood care and development. Meron din po tayong, ano, kasama din po niya si anti-sexual harassment law, including the posting dissemination of RA-7877, Expanded Breastfeeding Promotions Act, information on the rights and privileges of workers. Meron din po tayong tinatawag na scholarship kasi nga gender education ito, ano? Gender equality and education. So education meaning kung kung ang mga subsidiaries natin or ang group of companies natin the, the whole family of RD has scholarship no educational loans employee dependent scholarships and other educational assistance dito din po pumapasok si SPES namin uh, the Department of Labor and Employment has the special program for employment of students hindi lamang po siya for yung tinatawag nating uh, summer job. Okay. Hindi lang po siya implemented whole year round. So meron din po tayong mga company-sponsored trainings and seminars for employees, workers, career development, and other leadership skills, training, etc. Okay. When it comes to spirituality and value formation, that's dimension number three, we give support to workers' spiritual upliftment and religious activities, value formation of workers, awards, and recognition for employees. Nung nagkaroon po ng uh, massive lockdowns in March, alam po natin na halos lahat nagkaroon ng uh, mental ano, uh, anxiety, hindi naman disorder, ano, anxiety, concerns or issues, parang ganyan. Because all of us are actually affected. Hindi lang yung workers, hindi lang yung uh, frontliners natin. But when we go out, we have this anxious feeling that when we leave the house, baka you are at risk. ba? Doon sa virus. So, we actually uh, featured some companies who were able to provide amelioration or ayuda no, sa kanilang mga workers. Kasi ito po, nag, ano siya eh, malaking tulong po siya sa pag, ano, pag to take care natin sa mental health ng ating mga workers. So, they feel valued. Diba? So, yun, support to workers' uh, spiritual upliftment. Alam ko po, yung uh, RD group palaging may Bible studies. Yun. Uh, ang other companies, not only RD, meron din po silang uh, mass. No? Uh, min minsan, scheduled mass no? sa kanilang mga companies. Of course, awards and recognition for companies. Uh, alam po, kayo... Uh, ginagawa ninyo ito yearly. Baka this year lang wala. Kasi <laughs> pending ba? Postponed or something? no Or natuloy man, webinar na lang, Zoom, ano, Zoom party, parang ganyan. Okay. Dimension number four is income generation, livelihood, and cooperative. In general, Santa City, Hindi lang ako sure ha kung Ah uh, ano Ah uh, part ba siya ng RD group? Uh, I'm not so sure. But sige, let me mention Genpak. Genpak no is a, an establishment or a company that has engaged no sa win up namin uh, or the workers income augmentation program. The WIN app is actually a program wherein nagkakaroon ng organization, ang isang family welfare committee ninyo, no, ng isang company. Ginagawa siyang isang either a cooperative or an association. Okay, so pag nagawa po siyang uh, cooperative or an association, 
the that organization is actually qualified to ask from Dole an income generating project yung pondo for that okay so that's income generation livelihood and cooperative so kahit na wala si Dole let's say for example wala po si Dole we are actually uh, given the chance to engage company support to workers' livelihood activities. So, bigyan natin ng support ang workers' livelihood activities, promotion of entrepreneurship and self-reliant projects, and provide uh, opportunities for attendance to livelihood seminars. Dimension number five is medical health care. Okay. So it's not only medical health care. It's also HIV awareness. Anong nakapaloob dito? Sinasabi dito, availability of plant clinic for workers. So lahat-lahat ng, uh, hindi naman, ano, no, we, the, you are already uh, a big company, so you must have a clinic. Pero yung sinasabi po natin, you are encouraged, no? You are encouraged na sana kung merong available na plant clinic para sa mga workers, mas maganda po. Availability of free medical services to workers and dependents and health education programs. Remember, in the Occupational Safety and Health Program, kailangan po natin ng uh, safety kits, emergency medicines, sa ating mga clinics or in our companies. Kahit yan lang po, basta po available and free siya sa ating mga workers. Ang iba nga po sa atin, yung medical healthcare, meron pang HMO. Di po ba? So, with that, we're already uh, parang we're already enjoying no, sa ating Dimension number five, which is medical health care and HIV awareness. Okay, when it comes to, balikan ko lang yung medical health care, uh, provision of first aid kits, clinical uh, clinic equipment available to workers. Kung maaari, baka meron po silang hospitalization benefits and subsidized medicine. And free dental, EENT services. No, baka meron pang free annual exams and medical checkup, mas ina-appreciate po no ng family welfare committees yan. Let me know if I'm too fast or too slow. <laughs> okay na po ba? Right, sige. Moving on to dimension number six, which is nutrition. Nutrition is the inclusion of nutrition-related programs. It provides access to adequate safe food and water for employees, nutrition education, and regulation of weekly canteen menu. Na hindi po dapat lahat-lahat ng pagkain dyan sa ating canteen eh uh, prito. Dapat po ini-encourage natin ang ating canteen na yung weekly menu nila, sinichange-change naman na mayroong gulay, di ba? Para mas healthy, mas nutritious ang ating kinakain. During this uh, pandemic, uh, we were able to go around companies to monitor yung compliance ng ating mga companies to the DTI DOLE guidelines on uh, the prevention and control of COVID-19. And part of the checklist is that dapat po yung canteen nagbibigay po ng nutritious food. May iba po na walang canteen. So ang ginagawa po is uh, sinecheck po namin yung mga uh, lugar kung saan sila kumakain na dapat merong social distancing. Ayan. Uh, meron din po kaming mga companies na nakita and we appreciate their effort to provide food, to provide rice subsidies sa ating mga workers. And some of them were even able to provide vitamins. Okay. So when it comes to nutrition, uh, 
kung pwede po, meron po silang access to adequate safe food and water for employees. Kasama po doon sa ating, even if wala pa yung pandemic, kasama po siya sa inspection ni Dole. Na meron pong access to potable water ang ating mga workers. Um, nutrition education, observance and support to Nutrition Month every July, no? Uh, as per Section 7 of PD491 or the Nutrition Act of the Philippines, support to feeding programs, and of course, the use of iodized salt in compliance with RA 8177 or the ASIN law. Bakit po ito na-mention, itong ASIN law? Kasi matagal na pong bawal yung hindi iodized. I was able to visit the public market. One moment. Okay. I was able to visit the public market uh, nung wala pa yung COVID-19. Uh, bibili sana ako ng yung salt na nila, just the regular salt na hindi iodized because I wanted to spread it over my garden kasi maraming ano, uh, parang leech tawag niya, hindi ko alam. Basta garden leech ang sabi nila. Itim siya sa body, tapos brown siya yung ano niya, yung parang likod niya. And yet, sinasabi sa akin dun sa public market na mamula na ang ingon ana ang asin because they are actually not allowed anymore to sell uh, hindi iodized salt. So, we need to support feeding programs also. Okay. Dimension number seven is environment protection, hygiene, and sanitation. Ito. Meron kayo nito. Meron kayong promotion of 5S. May I know if RD is an ISO certified establishment? Yes. Or sa our group? Yes. No. Uh, so, yung may mga ISO dyan, alam nyo ito, promotion of 5S. In fact, 7S na ito. And we also have tree planting and reforestation activities, climate change, disaster risk reduction management, firefighting activities, and the no smoking policy. Okay, uh, when it comes to firefighting activities, meron pa tong ano, yung earthquake drills, di ba? Kasama yan siya. Okay, so when it comes to environment protection, hygiene, and sanitation, Yung sample activities natin would be the information dissemination on safe and healthy uh, a healthful work environments, yung promotion of 5S, pest control. Kasi po baka sa ating mga companies or sa ating mga workplaces eh yung iba sa atin we are ano uh, very particular with sanitation and cleanliness in our companies because we are dealing with food. No? So, pag ganyan, meron po tayo, pinopromote po natin yung mga activities that will uh, control pests in the workplace, education on proper garbage disposal and waste management, free subsidized potable water and sewerage system, gawa po tayo ng mga activities like tree planting and reforestation activities, um, Gawa po tayo ng mga firefighting activities. Alam ko meron kayong ano eh, may RD fire truck, right? Tama po ba? So, baka pwede natin itong i-encourage sa ating mga workplaces na ano lang, may may mga ipa-train tayo ng mga tao, no, for for this activity. Okay, issue once of protective equipment. Example, uh, safety goggles natin and other gear, safety shoes hard hats, earmuffs, reflectorized vests, and dust masks. Uh, sa panahong pandemya, no? sa panahon ng pandemyang ito, ang sinasabi po ng ating DOLE DTI guidelines is that the employer must provide the surgical face masks of our workers. Huwag, mo, huwag po natin kalimutan yan. Na, not only the surgical face masks, but as well as uh, face shields kung kinakailangan and uh, 
gloves, uh, surgical gloves or protective gloves na lang kung kinakailangan po. Okay? Uh, dito din po nakapaloob yung ating drug-free policy at the workplace. Okay? Ang um, iba sa atin, meron pang aside from drug-free policy at the workplace, meron pa pong alcohol-free. Okay? So, this and the, the no smoking policy, yan po ang dapat i-include natin sa ating dimension number 7. Let's go to dimension number 8, which is sports and leisure. Ito, masaya to. Kasi marami namang, kahit nga hindi, ano, uh, hindi natin alam na kasama pala siya sa 10 dimensions, pero nagpapabasketball tournament, tournaments kayo, di po ba? Or bowling. So, sports and leisure, kahit na lang yung ten, uh, table tennis, yung mga ganyan. Well, sa panahon ng pre-COVID ito, okay lang yung sports and leisure. Pero, kailangan ba nating stop ang ganito sa panahon ng pandemya? Hindi baka pwede tayong mag-provide no, ng mga uh, twisters. Ano nyo yung twisters? Yung makapag-exercise ka lang sa ano, sa uh, kung may mga spaces tayo sa workplaces na ano, or jumping ropes, no? Sports and leisure. Hindi po kailangan na kailangan talaga mag-basketball or mag-bowling. Hindi po ganun. Uh, company support to sports-related activities lamang po ang ini-encourage ni dimension number 8, company outing and other recreational activities pre-COVID and post-COVID. No? Kasi sa panahon ngayon, uh, well, hindi po muna natin ini-encourage ang outing. In fact, it was uh, a reminder uh, sa amin last time na nag-attend ako ng meeting ng, with the IATF na ang sinasabi po nila is that no uh, Christmas parties muna. Ang pinaka malaking Christmas uh, ano siguro is the biggest group that you can uh, allow for a party is 50. So binamin so ilang ano ilang <laughs> ilang 50 ilang parties ang aattend. <laughs> Kung 50 lang ang ia-allow, di po ba? Okay. But these are the activities for sports and leisure. Dito po nakapaloob si Family Day. Do you have Family Day? Yan. Dito po nakapaloob ang ating uh, Family Day sa sports and leisure. Okay. Dimension number nine is housing. Okay. So, provision po siya of free subsidized housing or quarters for workers, barangay infrastructure development assistance, Relocation assistance or allowance, development of springs and digging of deep wells, sale of company scrap materials at minimum prices to workers who would like to repair their houses or construct fences for their livelihood activities. So, bakit po natin uh, pabulukin na lang ang ating mga, mga materials kung pwede lang naman po silang ipabili sa ating mga workers na kung pwede pa silang magamit. The last dimension is transportation. Okay, transportation uh, is provision of free subsidized transportation services for workers, auto, car, motorcycle plan allowance, availability of parking areas for workers, Yung iba sa atin, naka-assigned, ano, uh, kunyari, itong parking area na ito para kay boss, ito para kay HR, ito para kay... So, we provide available parking areas for workers only, ay also, hindi lang sa management. Yung... Ko, yung iba, yung mga motor nila may mga shade hopefully and provision of all yung iba so hopefully uh, 
mabibigay po natin ang ato. So these are the 10 family welfare dimensions. Ang question is, what's with FWP? No? Anong nandyan sa FWP that would interest the employers? So when you are implementing the family welfare program, you are actually encouraged no, na gawin itong family program na ito because it will improve employee productivity, thus sustaining company profitability. What's with FWP that would interest the employers? Sabi ko nga kanina, <clears throat> uh, improved employee productivity, thus sustaining company profitability, better quality of workforce. Kasi diba, pag nagpo-provide po tayo, um, pag nagpo-provide po tayo ng uh, learning sessions, trainings, nagkakaroon po talaga ng productivity and uh, educated po ang ating mga workers, not only the management. So, we can send our workers to trainings, uh, sabbatical leaves, mga ganyan po. Okay. Recruitment and retention of quality personnel. So, nare-retain natin yung mga personnel natin because uh, alam nila na maganda yung uh, result ng mga trainings ninyo or the human relations natin with this family welfare program. So we also have enhanced labor management relations and the improved corporate image. Okay? So how do we put up a family welfare program into practice? The family welfare program is carried out pag nag install po tayo ng family welfare committee or similar work based, uh, workplace based special body composed of representatives of labor, management, and plant clinic. The FWC no, plans and oversees the implementation of various FWP activities. So what are these? No? Ito lang, dalawa o tatlong management representatives, plan clinic representative, preferably doctor or head nurse, two or three labor representatives, and the health and safety officer. Okay? Ito, you, how do you set up a family welfare program in the workplace? So you coordinate with DOLE. Kasi dapat, uh, ma, dapat malaman namin no, na may family welfare committee ka and para matutulungan namin kayo paano iset up ito siya. So uh, organize the family welfare committee from among the management, union, and workers and the clinic workers and determine what is the particular need of the employees. Okay, so you have to come up with the least priority dimensions. Ito lang muna. Although alam ko lahat sa inyo, lahat halos lahat ng doon sa tayan dimensions, uh, integrated na yan sa inyo. May, may shuttle kayo, may transportation kayo, may sports and leisure. In fact, nakikita ko dito, uh, spirituality, value formation, income generation, responsible parenthood, baka ginagawa ninyo ito lahat-lahat. The thing is, ang iba sa atin, baka wala lang talagang idea on the setting up of a family workplace uh, policy, no? Uh, uh, of a family welfare program in the workplace. Tapos, hindi lang natin na-organize. So, you need to provide the necessary support, assistance, and resources. Saan manggagaling ito? Of course, from the management. So, we obtain assistance from concerned government and non-government agencies tulad ni Dole. Okay, so the family welfare program thrives in the context of tripartism. Sabi ko nga kanina. The management, the government sector, and the workers. Of these key players, management involvement is uh, spells the success or failure of this family welfare program. Okay, kasi kung hindi po talaga supported ni management, wala pong mangyayaring family welfare program. Ang nangyayari, may mga suggestions si workers na baka po hindi po uh, magugustuhan ni management uh, 
hindi rin po magiging uh, productive no ang ating uh, family welfare committee. So dapat po yung mga suggestions ni workers ini involve po si management also involves the opinions no and i po ang ating relationship magkaroon po tayo ng harmonious workplace relationship again uulitin ko management involvement in any plant level program spells its success or failure okay so, plant level uh, family welfare committee responsibilities is to be responsible for the planning, organizing, and implementing, monitoring, and in-plant family welfare program. And the in-plant program shall focus on the 10 dimensions of the family welfare program. Okay. Employer's role. Ano po ang role ni employer under the FWP? The employer shall form a family welfare committee no, through the assistance of the DOLE regional offices. Actually, ngayon, hindi na regional offices. Uh, dumadaan na sa, fam sa field office. No? And then, we evaluate no, yung mga, uh, ano natin, yung, uh, tawag niyan, kasama doon sa committee na isasama ninyo. So, mga nurses, kung meron kayo mga nurses, sino-sino sila, uh, may safety officer ba tayo, si sino ang uh, okay sa family welfare committee when it comes to management, may workers ba. Okay. Uh, pag may labor union po tayo, ini-encourage po natin na they shall be part of the uh, family welfare program. Okay, so provide support, assistance, and resources to the workplace family welfare program. Okay. Uh, Dole's role under the FWP. Kami po yung nagpapakita sa, com sa company that promotion of such packages ultimately benefits the company itself, just like what we're doing right now. It does not sponsor the actual provision of these services, which are completely on the account of the establishment. It provides labor and management groups with the conceptual framework na yung in-plant programs and guidelines ng family welfare uh, committees. Ang responsible nito, uh, uh, the formation of family welfare committees responsible solely in the planning, organ organizing, and implementation of the in-plant family welfare program. Okay. Ito po yung legal framework ni family welfare program BO56-03 Okay so it's rationalizing the implementation of the family welfare program in the Department of Labor and Employment and meron po tayong checklist you know, when it comes to the setting up of the family welfare program So ganito lang Pag ang establishment is 200 or more workers, ang sinasabi na ating batas, compulsory siya. For those naman na may less than 200 workers, the family welfare program is optional. Even sa family planning, ang family planning, no, pag 200 or more worker, workers, compulsory, and optional kung less than. Okay, so ito siya. All other family welfare dimensions and its activities under AO 209 except gender equality which requires provision of measures to prevent gender-based sexual harassment in the workplace such as the conduct of anti-sexual harassment seminars or RA 11313 or Safe Spaces Act. See 200 or more workers, optional po, no? yung gender equality. And optional din po siya sa 200, less than 200 workers. Pero pagdating po sa family planning, compulsory po ang ating family planning when it comes to FWP dimension. Totality, the family welfare program is uh, mandated no, for those establishments with 200 or more workers. And again, optional po siya sa less than 200 workers. 
Okay. Just, this is just one of the elements of reproductive health care. So yung said I mentioned number one. So to sum it, to sum it up, uh, ang family welfare program natin is nakapaloob sa DO 56-03. Okay? Ang provision of family welfare program is the target clientele. And uh, rationality in the providing family welfare services to employees. Yun yung ano natin is the ten dimensions of the FWP, no? Uh, responsible parenthood and uh, reproductive health as required component by providing access to family planning services to workers. The family welfare committees as workplace implementing mechanism, which is tripartite in nature. So, si worker, si management, and the government. So, pinakita din po natin yung dole roles no? and employer roles. Okay, so, that's it. That is our 10 dimensions of the family welfare program. Now, let me just show you one more uh, presentation. Ito lang po yung mga models when it comes to our lactation stations. So this is model one. It's a, just a corner shielded with screen ensuring privacy for an employee to express milk, foldable or movable divider or tall cabinet. Uh, Non-negotiable po, hindi po siya pwedeng ilagay sa toilet. No? So sa mga powder rooms, hindi po siya pwede. So dapat uh, naka-separate siya. A wash basin along with water container with spout, basin below the water container collects the used water. Express, uh, expressed milk kept in containers and stored in coolers. No? A comfortable chair and small table. And dapat po is well ventilated. So this is the model. Ito yung mga kailangan natin. So kahit na konting ano lang siya. This one. Uh, dividers. Okay. Model 2. Within the clinic, but shielded from view by a screen or divider, free from intrusion, near sink, but not to be located in the toilet, may or may not have refrigerator, express meal to be stored in coolers, uh, brought by mothers or supplied by the company, yung iba naman, may mga refs naman, a comfortable chair and small table, ang importante po, well ventilated. Okay, so this is model number three. It's a private room. Maybe inside the clinic, but enclosed separately. Ang sink natin with running water. Merong small refrigerator. Small locker to store equipment. Electrical outlets for breast pumps. Comfortable chair and table. And it must be well ventilated. So ito po yung combination model natin. A combination of the three models above is a portable box-like type which can be moved from one location to another where it is most needed. So, dapat may electrical outlet lang para sa uh, pumps, small table and comfortable chair. The refrigerator is located outside. Pwede po yun. Just a reminder, the area for setting up the lactation station should be free from any form of contamination like chemicals and possible source of infection. So, other Department of Health requirements, ito po, hand paper towels, Covered plastic cups if available. Manual breast pump. Pero mas maganda po kung may dala po ang ating mga workers. Covered trash can. Logbook for daily registration of women using the lactation room. Electric fan or air conditioner. And sticker paper, masking tape for labeling of names and time of expression. And the clock. Kung maaari, may provide po natin ito sa ating lactation station. Logbooks, electric fan, uh, logbook, the clock, and the for labeling natin. Okay, so these are some of the actual model stations. Yan. Kahit ano lang, maliit lang na corner. Kahit na kurtina, di ba pwede? So, ayan. Ito medyo, siyempre, pang bigatin na ito. Pero kung kaya lang naman, why not? Bigay po natin sa ating mga workers. So, ito, maliit lang ito na sample.
All right. So there. May natutunan po ba kayo? <laughs> that is our part of our uh, lactation station. Yes. Models for lactation stations. Thank you. Hello, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, Thank let's you, sir. now proceed to our question and answer. Mm -hmm. We have uh, three questions here coming from uh, yes. Edgar of Field Best. So the first question is, what is the difference between LMC and FWP? Kasi ang ibang content ng LMC is nasa FWP na rin. Sir Edgar, uh, labor management uh, committees no, or councils is actually based on labor relations talaga siya, sir. Wala siya yung component ng, ano, wala po siya yung component ng uh, yung reproductive health, wala po yan siya sa ating LMC. This is purely FWP. See, while it is true na may similarities, pero when it comes to LMCs, ang atin pong LMCs is uh, yung kanyang highlight is labor relations. So, a uh, harmonious relationship between the workers and the management no? uh, para maiwasan natin yung mga unfair labor practice. Uh, wait. Yung mga unfair labor practice, maiwasan natin yan. Makaprovide po tayo ng tamang uh, entitlement sa ating mga workers. Ayun po. So, basically, wala po siya sa FWP yung mga ganyan. Labor, uh, labor management uh, committees or councils natin. Okay. Itong sinasabi kong 10 dimensions, kung titingnan mo, hindi yan nakapaloob sa LMC. Wala pong sports and leisure si LMC. Okay, so yung nandoon po sa LMC, yung usually yung dinidiscuss po doon is actually yung mga uh, the 5S natin. Um, labor relations, human relations, and productivity. Say si LHP natin. Yan po. And uh, most, the LMC naman po is a program and under the uh, NCMB. No, National Conciliation Mediation Board, while FWP is being implemented by DOLE. All right, thank you, ma'am. Okay. I hope na answer yung question, Sir Edgar. Now let's proceed with his, uh, I think this is a follow-up question. Mm -hmm. If organized ang union within the company can merge or incorporate the FWP in the union or separate po talaga ang FWC sa LMC. Can we incorporate Separate the FWC talaga. in the CBA of the union? Hindi po. Iba po ang ano, ang characteristic ni LMC, iba din po sa family welfare program. Okay. Pero po yung mga yung mga ano na ito, yung mga sinasabi nating part ng dimensions na ito, pwede po ninyong i-incorporate sa activities ng uh, labor union or ng LMC ninyo. Okay. Yung uh, purely, ano po kasi ito sila, no? Uh, purely yung parang for encouragement and empowerment of our workers. Pero pagdating po sa LMC natin, uh, halos technical po. Kasi i-incorporate po siya sa CBA natin. While it is true na pwedeng gamitin, uh, pwedeng ma-incorporate yung iba-ibang bagay like kunyari yung uh, observance of the family day yung mga ganyan kasi usually ang iba talaga niyan sinasama no sa mga CBAs natin pero usually highly technical si ano si LMC hindi nakakasama yung family welfare program kasi separate po talaga siya Right, thank you, ma'am. And okay. uh, one of our participants, yes. si Attorney Clemente, would like to add something about uh, mm. LMC. Uh, attorney? Yes, Attorney Clem. Uh, uh, may I just add uh, regarding the the no, regarding the question of uh, Sir Edgar on LMC. So, pwede bang pag uh, haluin ng MC, LMC at saka FW or Family Welfare Program? Uh, ang LMC kasi is a concept uh, 
Tama yung sinasabi ni Ma'am Sheng na purely on labor relations. So in fact, it is it is required uh, to companies na may ano na may labor union na uh, yung LMC ay dapat naka-embed or nakapaloob doon sa kanilang uh, CBA. So uh, pero ang question pwede bang pwede bang magiging ano sila i-incorporate pwede naman pwede naman i-incorporate yung ano yung mga dimension 10 dimensions ng FWP doon sa ano doon sa sa CBA mismo no so that's magiging part yan ng ano ng uh, uh, endeavor ng uh, management at saka ng employee doon sa CBA so uh, It's ano so I just would like to ano to clarify na LMC baka meron tayong mga ano dito mga companies na hindi unionized uh, LMC talaga is requirement for ano for uh, uh, for uh, uh, unionized company so sa mga non-unionized company uh, wag niyo na pong ano wag wag na pong wag niyo na pong alalahanin yung LMC Uh, focus naman po tayo doon sa FW, FWP so hindi po applicable sa inyo yung ano uh, LMC. Pero yung LMC, uh, yung yung LMC at saka FWP ay pwede na mo pwede uh, yung FWP pwede pong i, 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 i ano i part ng program doon na kapaloob sa CBA. So walang walang problema sa mga unionized. Sa mga hindi unionized naman so uh, don't uh, ano ayaw ayaw ninyo di confuse niyo yourself. Uh, what is LMC and FWP so walang LMC sa ano sa hindi required ang LMC sa mga non-unionized but yeah, you can still have your own like sa RD Corporation we have link so that's that, that will become uh, parang ganun na parang ganun na rin yun okay attorney thank oh, you for may I just that add attorney ano okay ma'am oh, may, may I just add na uh, for those na hindi unionized baka mas mabuting iunahin muna natin si Family Welfare Program. Kasi yung purpose and objective ni Family Welfare Program all boils down to harmonious uh, workplace relationship. no So, ayan po. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, si Sir Jeff of RD Realty would like to add something about LMC. Yes, Sir Jeff, go ahead. Hi, Jeff. Hello, good afternoon, Ma'am Sheila, and to our uh, attendees. Ma- maklaro ko, Ma'am Shay? Yes, loud and clear. <laughs> okay. Um, I just would like to add, because a uh, few years ago, the Department of Labor and Employment uh, launched the LMC Convergence Program. So in such program, lahat ng mga programs ng DOLE was uh, incorporated in one, ano, nag-converge sila in one LMC convergence program. Parang it was made mm-hmm. para to cover all, ano, all programs of DOLE. Like sa, under sa LMC convergence program, nandun na yung family welfare program, of course, number one. And uh, the most important, I believe, productivity. Meron ding um, uh, grievance and other programs na pwedeng maisip ng isang company na ipapasok na doon. So para siyang ano, it's a bigger ano, uh, mode of governing all those programs with uh, 50-50 participation of labor and union. Again, do not confuse yourself. This is I, I am talking about yung unionized na na, na na company. So in such na in such structure, there is a an equal participation and um, uh, participation of the labor and the union. So they talk about all the activities, all the programs uh, under Dole. So siguro uh, it is quite confusing because yung Ah, uh, syempre we have labor management uh, committee or cooperation na ano no na na committee. And meron din tayong ano uh, family welfare program. So uh, medyo ano, medyo mag-overlap kasi yung mga programs, especially kung yung mga yung mga officers ng LMC, yun din ang mga officers ng ano ng or members ng committee ng family welfare program. So magkakaroon ng ano ng Uh, confusion or parang overlapping of functions. However, 
tama yung sinabi ni Mama no, ni Ma'am Sheila that we have to prioritize the 10 uh, dimensions of uh, family welfare program because uh, encompassing yung lahat ng ano ng ng aspects of ano of uh, employee ano no uh, ng buhay niya kasi kasala man kasama niya yung yung ano yung uh, family niya yung work niya yung health and safety no may housing pa or so on and so forth so that's all let us just uh, not confuse ourselves dun sa uh, mga functions ng each ano uh, program all right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank Jeff. You, uh, thank you for the clarifications and, of course, additional uh, insights for everyone. And I hope na sagot yung question ni uh, Edgar. I think may, may additional question dito si Edgar regarding the, the mini refrigerator in the lactation area for field best. The question is, if hindi po dinala na mother ang milk na, na stored sa ref, Pwede po ba na itapon na lang ang express meal kasi maka-occupy siya ng space sa uh, refrigerator? Yes po, lalo na po kung nagtagal uh, na siya. Alright. Pero okay. I think it would be better if, uh, yun nga, harmonious uh, relationship, no? Sabihan po natin yung may-ari. No? Kasi syempre, kanya yun eh. Baka, uh, may reason siya at uh, in store niya yon minsan di ba yung ating express milk sorry ha uh, sa mga male counterparts natin na attendees yung sa mga uh, nursing moms pag nag-express kasi ng milk may number of hours yan na pwede pa yung milk or for for as long as it can be stored no and frozen yung iba niyan pinapamigay no sa ibang mga mothers who are may kakulangan sa pag-express ng milk or basta ganun uh, pinapamigay so it would be better if we ask the owner no yung mom kung willing ba siya na i-give up na lang yung milk kasi anytime uh, pwede naman siyang mag-express ulit ng milk. So, para at least uh, hindi naman nakaka-consume ng space sa ating refrigerator. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I hope na sagot yung question, Sir Edgar. And then, parang uh, ang daming question ni Sir Edgar and that's very good. Now, let's uh, I think may question siya dito ba? May additional question si Edgar? Uh, tama po ba na bawal okay. ang lactation areas uh, within the toilet or comfort room? Pwede po ba na ireklamo sa dole ang mga company na ginagawang lactation area ang comfort room? Non-negotiable po talaga siya. Alright, so non-negotiable. So dapat conducive and talagang uh, in terms of uh, sanitation, okay yung location ng ating lactation. But when we say lactation, this is not only for employees. Yes, this is right. also for the visitors. No, kung meron man tayong mga visitors who, who yes, happens uh, to yes, visit oh, those yes, workplace. Oh. <laughs> even our malls, even our malls, no, kailangan meron yan silang lactation stations. Kasi anytime that uh, a mother needs to express her milk, uh, accessible, pwede. Oh, and uh, we we don't allow that uh, they express their milk sa toilet. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Ito, mayroon na naman pa siya si Sir Edgar. All right, by the way, ma'am, when we say express milk, ito ba yung breast milk? Yes. All right, sige. So if you hindi yes. po ng express milk from other mother, hindi po ba delikado kasi body fluid po ang milk? Uh, ang alam ko po hindi. But well, I'm not a doctor, no. I am not a medical person to 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 say this. Pero um, I have lots of friends, even doctors, who store their milk and then share it to uh, other babies na nangangailangan. So I don't think uh, my issue for as long as they are uh, kept safe, no. And uh, basta kung saan nag-express nag ng milk is sanitized. Uh, well, 
uh, as much as possible, mas maganda siguro na yung kukunin mong express milk is from somebody who whom you know. Hindi naman yung kung sino-sino lang, kung kanino-kanino lang galing. Yeah, I think kasi baka yung concern, just to, ano lang, just to add, uh, perhaps yung the concern of uh, Sir Edgar is uh, in relation to our pandemic. No? So, baka, you know, um, may mga natawag tayong mga symptomatic. No? So, oh, that's nga. possible. Alright, so some more questions. We still have uh, enough time for your question. Other nursing moms can help me with this. Kasi ang alam ko po talaga, eh, pwede talaga siyang i-share. I-, I haven't expressed milk for such a long time. <laughs> Yeah, my I youngest so, is already Actually, 14. <laughs> I, I know someone na uh, ano siya, uh, binibenta niya yung kanyang express milk. Uh, no? Yeah, they're selling uh, her express milk and then uh, I think sa, sa TV din, meron din tayong napanood, I think sa one of our one of the uh, uh, television program uh, parang yung father, nangungulekta siya ng express meal sa neighborhood. <laughs> so, of course, kailangan kilala mo yung yeah. anak. Yung, 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 yung. Some more questions? Hi, Bin. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Ako. Ste. Oh, hi, Shen. Hi, Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much for the learning. Na refresh ko. <laughs> hey, query la ako, Shen. I you know, meron kasing company registration, ito no, na parang we have to pay as a good member or company in good standing. How much nga ngayon ang registration per company sa family welfare program natin? Per family welfare program po, ang membership lang po natin is only 100 per company. Ah, okay. <laughs> ang mura, di ba? 100 per company. But we have to pay annual dues na 500 per, ayun, annual nga annual dues na 500. And then, yung 100 na membership is lifetime for as long as your company is in, ano, uh, standing tall and proud pa siya. Oo. So, sa amin, okay. we can check, no, kung baka tapos na kami sa membership. As you mentioned, medyo matagal na ang RD Corp. You will just catch up with the annual dues. Tama ba siya, 500? Yes po, ma'am. Mm-mm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, kasi we plan to activate fully um, by next year, hopefully, and uh, we continue to support. So, per RD group yes, of company, so ganun na rin kami. So, hindi siya taken as one. Kailangan per company na fill this, yes. they, they have to pay the yes, 500, etc. Okay, thank you, Shane. Yes, ma'am. Right, thank so, you, Ma'am Michelle. Some more questions. By the way, uh, Ma'am Shen, thank you so much you know, for extending your time for the RD Group. And uh, we're looking forward to being part of our future webinars. I'm sure a lot of topics are very important under the uh, under Department of Labor and Employment. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, we need to refresh our everyone and uh, of course baka may mga bagong implementations sa dole na kailangan po natin alam alright so some more questions anytime sir alright so by the way I would like to remind everyone again so I already uh, shared the, the survey link of the evaluation for this webinar and I mean this uh, evaluation survey will serve as your attendance and uh, again we will be uh, issuing certificates that ends our webinar for this afternoon. So again, I would like to thank everyone for attending today's webinar. The title of our webinar is Dole's 10 Dimensions of Family Welfare Program. If you have any other questions, uh, you may feel free to contact me. You can either email or call or text me directly. You can find my contact details in our webinar invitations. And then once you leave this uh, webinar, I'll be sending you a survey via email just to, of course, uh, remind you of the uh, uh, survey for this uh, session. This survey, again, will serve as your attendance and our basis is issuing you the certificate. Again, Ma'am Sheng, thank you so much. And on behalf of RD Corporation and our resource speaker, 
Thank you everyone for joining us today and have a great day and stay safe everyone. Thank you. Thank you, RD Group. Salamat po. On behalf of the uh, Department of Labor and Employment, from Mom Pat, we are extending our love to all of you. Ingat po tayo. Ingat, ingat talaga. Yes ma'am. Thank you so much. Have a nice day everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone.